The first thing that I would recommend doing if you're going to go to Outer Zone and get digital plans, run them through Lightburn to cut your parts and whatnot, I would go under Advanced, scroll down here to PDF Vector Files. You can pull those straight out, run it through Lightburn. Uh, some people have even mapped out the parts you need to cut and tell you the size of wood to get. Now here's one that was done in uh, PDF Vector and the guy already had a whole bunch of it uh, done out on the wood. And so I go through and just make little notes. This is going to be an eighth balsa sheet, six inches by 36 inches. Uh, one thing I did do different, actually took uh, stuff off one sheet and crammed it all into another. It just saves me buying more wood. But I'm going to do this one the hard way and kind of demonstrate how I go from PDF bitmap uh, to what I want. So I'm just going to do uh, this demonstration on the pontoons, but you can uh, utilize it for everything else. So okay, find a set of plans that you want. It's PDF bitmap. Go ahead, scroll down. Plan file. Grab the supplements and do some reading. You might even find parts already made up in the supplements. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Alright, so I'm downloading the plan. Go into Lightburn. Open. You may have to set this to all supported. Go to my downloads. Find trainer and open it in Lightburn. Now it's asking what page. Um, it'll do one page at a time. If you've got a really good computer, you can open up several. I tend to work with just one page at a time, and I know that the pontoons are on page four, so I'm going to start with that. And here's what you get. Now, select the whole thing. If you look up here and you can't ungroup, what's here because it was a, if it was a PDF vector file you could just hit ungroup move it all out of your way and you could go in and work with individual pieces PDF bitmap is not going to give you that option so we've got to do another step I'm not going to claim any expertise but this has worked for me, and uh, I think it'll work for you too. Go down here, right click on the deal trace image. Now there's a lot of settings on this trace image, and you can you can play with that if you want to. I've gotten to the point that I just go right past it because look here what it does. It's going to give you two separate lines to cover this entire thing which really kind of screws up what you're needing is that that one line in the middle but no the trace image is going to divide that into two separate lines doing the entire thing kind of screws us up later on but we can work around it so go ahead and hit that now look at there you can ungroup what you just traced and okay, we're going to start right here. The full piece, the nose of it, is actually up here. So I'm going to scroll into this full piece, and if you'll notice, you've got double lines on everything. I'm going to try to get just the outside line of that one piece. This is going to be to build my sides. And when I pull that down, you see I've got a lot of unnecessary crap couple of ways around that you can either go through using the uh, cut shapes tool and cut that stuff out individually or you can just take the line tool change color and 
draw out what you're needing. I also need to piece back together the front end piece, so I'm going to go to just the outside line. Select that, and my middle piece is way up here, so we're going to get a bunch of crap we don't need. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and set that right where I need it. Scroll in here. Kind of grab right there. Try to do the best you can to piece it together. Because essentially, I'm going to end up retracing the entire thing. So, grab that line. Try to snap it to that. Check all around. It looks like it's spitting just like it should. So we'd have our one entire side piece. Now I've got some stuff going on back here. Looks like I need to end that back there a little bit. Can do that later on after we cut the piece out. Now then. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to select my drawing tool. Okay, start here. Now this, oh, I want to change colors on tracer. So, okay, it's red. Now if I want the red to show up, or better, while I'm sitting here tinkering with it, Draw a red line, come up red, and actually turn the power thing on. It brightens it up. Uh, just remember to turn that off later before you're cutting. But now I can go in here. Pick your starting point and go. And as you notice, it'll kind of snap too. It's got going on so you can straighten out all these little lumps so go from one spot right to the next left click start a whole nother line is along and just do that it, it's kind of painstaking but try to hit your spots to where you'll take out these little lumps you end up with a straighter line altogether. Notice, even on the curves, just take a little bit at a time, it'll try to snap in there and kind of form fit to the curve. And if you notice right here towards the end, I got a curve going on. Take your lines a little bit shorter, and that your drawing will kind of snap to those lines and help you make a curve. Get done, right click, stop your line, select, I scroll in here so I make sure and select just the red line. Grab it and drag it, or you can use arrows in case you have to put it back to finish something else out. And lo and behold, you've drawn out a part. And so you go through a whole lot of that uh, to make out your other stuff. I have to draw out these individual pieces, little bulkheads that go through here. And eventually, you'll get all the parts you need to build your airplane or whatever else. And there's a lot of things you can edit. Let's. Uh, Let's try this piece for a second here. Got my selector ready. Let's hit that outside line and yeah, gets a whole bunch of other crap in there. Okay, pull it out somewhere. You can see it rather well. <coughs> and you see it didn't it didn't bring the middle part. Okay, control Z. Go back 
can see that uh, what's still selected, it's all got dotted lines. Hold your control button down and pull in this other stuff. Leave that one out. Because I'm just going to use this as kind of a map to draw out what I'm wanting. Select that. There it went. Now, pull that out, and we've got a little more to work with. And we can go through and draw this out, including the cutout for the wooden stick. Okay, one thing, like right here, where I'm going to have multiple parts that are drawn all in one thing, I'm probably going to have to go through here and individually draw out each one where it's sitting. Okay, so, instance, let's go there. Get there. I'm a little off. It'll be alright. Tap down. This isn't super precise, but if you do it a little bigger than need be, then later on you can sand it a bit. Selector, I'm going to hit just the red line and pull my part out. All right, and there you have that one. And then you just go through and repeat the process on each bigger piece couple of ways that you can measure uh, what you're going to need. Of course, one thing, I'm working on this side piece here. I looked in on the plan, it says it uses 332nd inch sheet. So, okay, I need to know height and width. So, do your selector tool, run it across there, select the piece, you come up here, it gives you the millimeters to this page. G-I-N-I-F-A-B dot com. Uh, centimeters to inches. You can look that up. I would, I put it on my desktop so I can get to it real quickly. But you can put in millimeters or you can put in centimeters and it gives you your inches. 898.872. I'm going to do 899. In millimeters, mm -hmm. comes up, I'm going to need at least 35 and 3 eighths. Now, I don't know where you do your shopping for balsa wood, but I found some uh, where I shop. 332nd by 4 by 42. And you can check your height back over on the other page and see how big you're going to need. Found those kind of sheets, and it will fit. And since I've got that in there, I'm going to hold the control button, select the rest of it, group all that together. And I know I'm going to need two of those. And so that's going to help you when you go to order wood for the parts you're going to need. Now, another thing I do is any parts that, say, need to be 332nd, if I can, I'll squeeze them in here. And then, of course, on something long like this, you know, this is the size of my laser. If you're going to cut out something really long, you're going to want to do the print and cut feature. And uh, there's all kinds of videos out there about how to do that. It's really cool because if you can squeeze something in from one direction, like uh, my laser has a 17-inch cut this way only 16 across here but I can do 16 inch sections and it'll all piece out into one thing that that's beyond the scope of this video but that's kind of how I do it how I pull out the part I need search and 
purchase the wood that I need and know what size to get. And then, of course, how many of them. Uh, we're going to need four sides all together for two pontoons. And so, hit that. Hit the array button. Boom. There's my four pieces. Okay. Uh, I speed through some of this because I've, I've gone over it in other videos. And so, yeah, you ought to go check out some other videos. That'll get you started on getting your parts ready in Lightburn from a PDF bitmap. And uh, so you can start cutting them out and start building your own. Ooh. Oh. That is the best invention known to man.